In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a handwriting text effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you want to begin by creating a brand new title. So we'll go up into File, New, Legacy Title. Press OK on this menu. And then from here, you just want to type out a word of your choice. So we'll press the T icon, that's the type tool, select the black video and just type out a word of your choice. So I'm going to do Brooker. Going to select that and select a font of your choice. Now, in order for this handwriting text to look realistic, you want the font to be a handwritten inspired font. So don't go for something blocky because it will look a bit fake. Go for something which is a little bit more calligraphy inspired. So go for something a bit looser. There you go. That would do for me. As you can see, that looks like somebody has just scribbled this onto the page. That looks really awesome. And once you're happy with the look of your text, you just want to center this up and then exit the title window. Now we'll drop that title onto video layer one. And as you can see, we've got our title sitting on the video and it looks really awesome. Now from here, we need to go and create a transparent video. So we'll go to new item and we'll go all the way up to transparent video. Select transparent video, press OK on this menu, and we'll drag the transparent video onto video layer two. So at the moment, you can't see anything because it's a transparent video. From here, we're gonna to go to the write on effect in effects. So we'll go to effects and we're gonna search for write on. That should be underneath generate. So you want to drop write on onto our transparent video, not the title. You wanna put that on the transparent video. So now that we've got the write on effect on the transparent video, we want to zoom into the video. So select fit, go to 200%, go to write on and select brush position. Now you want to make sure that the brush position is sitting in the very bottom left corner of the text. So it's sitting right there right now. And as soon as you're happy with that, you want to create a brand new keyframe on brush position. So we'll select the stopwatch icon and then we'll move to the right two frames. So we move two frames to the right, and then you want to move the position of the brush position up to the top left. So you want to follow the movement of the writing and we're gonna move the brush position up to this point up here. And then once you're happy with the look of that, you want to move over another two keyframes. So we'll go right two frames, and then you want to move the position down and you want to keep repeating this process over and over again until you've successfully covered the entire word. And there you go, five minutes later, I've finished with this and we can now move on to the next step. From here, you want to go into the effects tab and we're going to search for track matte key. And there you go, that should be in keying. And you want to drag track matte key onto video layer one. And now that you've got the track matte key onto video layer one, you want to select the matte, that is this section here, from non to the video layer that your text is sitting on. So it should be sitting on video layer two. So we want to select video two. So there you go. You can see that the write on effect is happening, but unfortunately the brush isn't thick enough on video layer two in order for this effect to truly shine through. So we want to go to the transparent video We'll go to the brush size and we'll increase this from two all the way up to around 30% and look at the difference. And there you go. That is how you do the handwritten write on effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So thank you ever so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support and I will see you in the next video. See you there.